Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie and um, yeah, I, I noticed that we didn't have a reading for one day at a time in Al-Anon for April 19th. So here I am just out of the garden and I'm gonna read because I need it. How are you guys doing today? All right, so let's get started and see what, uh, see what comes up. So it's page 110 if you're following along. And yes, I do have a Christmas tree yet. Mostly all year. Right now I took off the red bulbs. I just have like the piece, like little ornaments that we've made ourselves. And then, um, yeah, I was like, well, this is fine. It's a good background because it's my background. So doing the best I can to say. I'm just really grateful to, um, to have you guys here with me, so. All right, let's get started. April 19th, page 110. Once upon a time, a despairing husband of an alcoholic joined an al -Anon group. When he found that the other 12 members were women, he left, uh, he felt a little silly and decided his problem couldn't be like theirs. No. So he stayed away and kept on trying to solve it by using the same old weapons that he had uh, used and had never worked. So another man in a like situation was also a little shy of trying to identify with the problems of a bunch of gals. So um, he quickly realized that Al-Anon was offering basic principles that really worked. So, he brought a friend and that friend brought another. And finally, everyone gratefully realized that the men in the group gave it a stamina and workability it might never have had otherwise. al is for people, people who have a problem they want to solve by sharing their experiences, strengths and hopes with other people. So the more varied the experience, the greater the strength and hope. No matter who you are, if someone in your life is fighting the battle, of the bottle, or the, like the drinking bottle or the pill bottle, <laughs> al -Anon has an has an answer for you. That's what the reading says. So um, my experience, I agree. This is interesting. Um, and I'm not a despairing husband of an alcoholic, but I, I was a despairing daughter, granddaughter, spouse. So um, I honestly didn't uh, go into Al-Anon to hear anybody's experience, strength, and hope about how to work on myself. I was there to help myself figure out like what they do in order to control their alcoholics in their life, which then I found out that that's not what Al-Anon does. And I decided to stay anyhow, which was, um, I'm grateful that I did because I was, I was like, well, why not? I'll just see if this works, you know, maybe that's what'll work. So it, you know, it does one day at a time and little by little. So anyway, here's a, there's a quote from the Al-Anon booklet called What's Next? And it says, your wife's struggle to get free from the grip that alcoholism has on her will probably defy your imagination. No matter how sincerely she tries to do something about it, she meets with the same inevitable failure. And um, it goes with one of the other readings that um, we read um, a few days ago, and it was about, um, if I can find it, because it was about like how, um, how we can, uh, like if we keep um, trying to compel the alcoholic or beg the alcoholic or try to control them, you know, it just, it gets worse. And like the pent up feelings 
that we feel um, we need to release to the alcoholic or the person in our lives so that we can get it out of us, then it like it only makes matters worse. I wear my two's kind shirt today. Maybe because there's that 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 unfortunate trial uh, with that Johnny Depp person and um, Amber Heard, his ex-wife. Like that's, I can't help but to talk about that because I'm like, they kept pushing each other and he obviously has a problem and he always, he's had it for a long time and it's progressive and she's like aggravating the problem and then they get into altercations with each other. Like that's just my take on it. When I saw that, I was like, oh boy, one's suing for 50 million, the other's suing for a hundred million. So I figured it'll even out at the end, but you know, for, for everyone watching, you know, it's televised. It's like, or it's at least on YouTube. I don't know if it's on TV, but it's like, wow, that's, that's an example of trying to control the addict. When you're so frustrated, you like in their face, you're like, I need to tell you how I feel. And you end up following, like what was she doing? Following them around in each room. And he's like, stop. And she's, you know, you know, they, they call each other names. Like it's, that's so, oh, can you relate to that though? A little bit. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about like what you can relate to with that, you know, like if your wife or husband is an alcoholic or your partner or whatever, um, you know, we're here, we're al on is for people who have a problem they want to solve by sharing their experiences, strengths, and hopes with other people. And so that we can just see how other people do it and be open to that, have some humility and be open to, well, if it works for them, maybe there's something I can do. And that's, you know, you know, we can just pull up the just for today, right? We can say, just for today, I will have a quiet half hour all by myself to relax. During this half hour sometime, I will try to get a better perspective on my life. And we can be kind to each other. If you have an alcoholic in your life, you know, and it's, it's, you love them. And, you know, you have a history with each other and, you know, being kind to each other and whatever that means, you know, maybe um, you're not able to um, stay in uh, a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. Um, or maybe, um, you know, somehow, some way you can. But um, that's all up to, um, to you and your program and how that, how that can work for each other, you know? So um, there's not one way. And, um, and compare and despair, right? So it says also, um, just for today, I will have a program. I may not follow it exactly, but I will have it. I will save myself from two pests hurry and indecision. And just for today, I will be happy. This assumes to be true that Abraham Lincoln said the most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be. I will try to live through this day only and not tackle all my problems at once. I can do something for 12 hours that would appall me if I felt that I had to keep it up for a lifetime. And um, one other thing, I guess, yeah, like when we when we blame each other for the faults, you know. Yeah. I'm glad that um, I can work with Alan on and my sponsor and the people whether they're women or men in the group. And then you get a lot of, um, you get a lot of like experience when you have a mixed bag of people. And um, 
I'm just really grateful that I'm continuing with this. So um, hopefully um, I hear from you guys in the comments. So uh, yeah, let me know. I just couldn't resist to talk about the that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard thing because I'm like, that's so, I can relate to that craziness. Like you, if you didn't push me to that, or I wouldn't do it as much. Like, what did he say? Something like she only gets as much as she gives out. She gets the same. So I'm like, ah. And he also was blaming her for like, if she, like how she um, triggered him into having, like when he was trying to get get um, sober and in a recovery place. And I guess she was like, bothering him and um, it was her fault that he couldn't recover and I thought you know uh, you know enough already but everyone has their own journey but it's good for me to see so that I can remember um, my past and what I've done with blaming and and uh, acting like the victim and I'd like to um, say thank you so that I can just take, uh, what is it? Um, be responsible for me and grow up best I can here and today. All right, you guys, so let's say the serenity prayer. And um, I'm glad that you're here with me. And um, I also have up on this channel, for April 19th, uh, the readings for uh, from Hope for Today and Courage to Change. Yeah, those are up too. All right. Mm, let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer together. <clears throat> nice deep breath in and out to be present. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not mine, be done. And keep coming back. It works if you work it, because you're worth it. And um, let's see, I've been shuffling these cards. Let's see what we get. I'll just pull a card for the day to see. Since I've been talking about Johnny's up, Amber Heard, I, I will pray for God's will for them. Because, I mean, I figure, I think it's a good example for us so we can see um, alcoholism and addiction in the family unit and um, when we push each other it can happen terrible ugly things and you know taxpayer dollars and all that good stuff going to watch this stuff but I just I don't know I just think it's a good example and God bless them all all right so let's see the chariot the chariot it's going to be over soon. <laughs> Swiftness. Swiftness. And that's, we're on the, we're on a good way. All right. I'm grateful for you guys. Like to hear about that as well. All right. I see you tomorrow.